Uh, let's talk about the corporate flight bookings. So they are in flight and you have a booking array. So basically you just have to keep adding if they are overlap with each other. So for example, from one to two station, right? This is cost of 10, from two to three is cost of 20, from two to five is cost of 25. And they are on, uh, on station. So it's just, uh, it's just adding, adding everything, right? And then you will get the final result. So this is basically like easy question. So I can just create an array and then I'll just keep increment based on these two, right? So um, let's just start coding. I, I don't want to do too much. So I'm giving an earn space of an array. I'm going to traverse the booking. Traverse the booking. And then I'm going to give what? A equal to booking at zero, which is the starting position, B booking at one, ending position, and this is going to be cost equal to booking at two, right? So, I mean, it's going to be seat, right? But I, okay, let me just change the seat, right? So I will have to traverse from A to B, right? So for in I equal to A, I less than equal to B, you have to include an I plus plus, right? So result at I will plus equal to the seat number, you just have to implement every single time, right? So you will return results. So this is supposed to be the simple one. So here's a problem. The index is not starting from zero. So we have to increment by one when we add into the result array. And believe it or not, yes, I pass. So yeah, so let's talk about time and space. So for, for the space, it's going to be all of n. For the time, it's going to be all of n, right? So n represents what the uh, the little n, right? The size of n, right? And this is the solution. I'll see you next time. Bye.